Appetite for Innocence by Lucinda Berry. As you might have guessed from the title, it's another one of those. Another maniac obsessed with shit. Yes, this is a channel about this sort of stuff. You're welcome. Welcome to Check That Book, a special place where we get acquainted with the most disturbing books ever written, according to um, Google, mainly. <laughs> Some of uh, the books we talk about in this channel are my personal favourites, something I would definitely recommend, or rather not recommend. <laughs> Today we're outside because uh, these are the last days of summer and uh, I, I reckon, why not? I mean, we've done this before. I mean, I can't be that annoying. I mean, the office behind me can be a bit, you know, frustrating. So to all of you summer lovers, there you have it. Enjoy. There's greenery all over. As for the book, though, this is a very interesting uh, little piece of work that I would recommend to anyone who uh, is seeking um, something in, along the lines of a thriller. This, this is a thriller, a psychological one. It doesn't necessarily have to be disturbing. I mean, we all have our own levels of uh, disturbing, right? Uh, what's disturbing to me might not be disturbing to you at all. Or the other way around. I mean, some people can't stomach certain things, you know, there's taboos. This book is not one of those that, you know, tackles all sorts of taboos, like, you know, we have all sorts of shit, ultimate depravity, like 120 days of Sodom. By the way, thank you for your activity. I didn't even realize this was such a popular piece of work, but I assume people find this video mainly because of the movie adaptation but still in that regard Pier Paolo Pasolini I thank you <laughs> Appetite for Innocence um, is basically about a maniac who kidnaps girls and uh, you know does things to them uh, this is not a very violent book in my not so humble opinion um, the, the maniac himself, yes, we, we have your, you know, sexual abuse, but it's, it's presented in a way, um, let me, let me, let me put it, let me put it this way, without spoiling it much, he basically kidnaps girls and grooms them into, you know, having sex with him because he likes virgin, innocent girls and I am disgusted. It's actually a story about survival uh, of, of a couple of girls, actually one in particular, but there's two in the beginning. Intrigue, intrigue, what happens to the other? I mean, this is a story of survival and uh, I admire uh, our main character, Ella, uh, for what she's been through and yeah, there is a few quite graphic scenes here and there. If you know, you know what she does in the bathroom. Yeah, that's tough. And did she do the right thing? Did she not do the right thing? I personally think it, it was up to her and regardless of whether it's morally right or wrong for some people, she made the right decision because it was hers to make. And ooh, that was a very tough thing to read. And I, if there is a movie adaptation I'm not aware of, let me know in the comment section, I would be curious to watch because this is hardcore shit. But in overall, not that hardcore. A couple of scenes, yes, but usually no. This is mostly about the, the grooming uh, of, of that pedo bastard. I mean, he gives them a bath, his victims, he is uh, trying to be all nice, he cooks some food. And, and I mean, let me quote you something. I mean. When he's our antagonist, the maniac, is bathing Ella, let me quote you something. Again, again, as he scrubs, he rinses the conditioner out of my hair. Finally, he's finished and I'm scrubbed clean. 
but I've never felt so dirty. It trails off into uh, religion. Uh, quite honestly, th I thought this would be very inappropriate here, like why? Uh, but the author cleverly weaved it in, in a way that actually not only did not bother me, it, it actually made sense to, to a degree. I liked that. And, and the way it's, it's, it's presented as a sort of a test of faith, loss of faith, I mean, in God, that is. And, and in the end, well, since the girl still survives, I mean, it's, it's interesting. Uh, if you're religious and you'll be reading this book, for some reason, you can be religious and still be into disturbing stuff. I believe. No problem. But if you are and you'll be reading it, it would be interesting to know your points of view. I mean, what, what do you think about that? Was it God who guided her through the survival? She did start praying, but then she kind of like denounces God and has her own problems uh, with God, sort of. Because, again, as she cleverly puts it, our main character, she thought it was a test of faith at first, but then, as she quotes, it's not test, it's torture. And God was supposed to protect her and be there for her and prote protect her from harm. She's a little girl, or not too little, but still, I mean, if, if a girl, if a teenage girl looks like a woman, it doesn't mean she knows how to be one yet and that she's ready to do what a woman does, willingly, by the way. This is horrible. I mean, as for, I cannot stand sexual violence. But I encounter it so much in disturbing, in the disturbing field, so I'm kind of desensitized because, again, it makes my skin crawl, but at the same time I, I always look for the ending. Will there be a redemption? Will there be a satisfactory ending to it all? And in this book, I will not spoil it. Go read it. This this is an interesting piece of work. There is a very good twist in the end, which I enjoyed. I did not really expect it. I mean, the author was kind of leading you towards it, but then you go like, for real though, for real. <laughs> and you, you, yeah, it leaves you a, a bit stunned there, but uh, I, th I think it's appropriately done. I was positively uh, surprised that it did go the route I expected it to go, but at the same time, you know, it turned out even better. That's what I'm trying to say about the book and the ending. So yeah, it's a good survival story. Unfortunately, a lot a lot of cases such as this take place every day and all over the world again. Uh, so, yes, it's much like with the groomer. I mean, watch your fucking children, watch them. They're your children, your responsibility. Teach them that they cannot interact with strangers at all. Like, in the groomer it was yeah, a bit more obvious, because if you remember the very first video on my channel, The Groomer, great book, holy shit, disgusting. <laughs> if you remember that one, then it kind of teaches you something. It's very obvious there that uh, there's online grooming, there's, uh, uh, is, yeah, raise awareness. But in the, with this one, I mean, you get a blow in the head and you're abducted. You're going to get kidnapped like this and... Just, just because you let your guard down for a wee second. Sometimes it happens like this too. And it sucks. Our world is a sick and a sad place. So yes, there you have it. Uh, thank you for being outside with me here today. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this sort of content, consider giving this video a boost in the form of an erect thumb and a subscription perhaps. Take care, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you soon. Bye.